What up, what up? It's your boy, Captain Sinbad. Guys, I just came back from the sh a shoot on a short film that I had done, and um, it's, it's part of the process that I'm going through to create a demo reel um, so that I'll have a great package put together when I'm back in Los Angeles. Um, and that shoot took me to just now, so it's about 12.30 a.m., um, but it went really well. And I have a message to share with everyone um, before I retire for the night. And that is this. I don't know how much this is going to resonate with all of you, but I've always harbored a feeling of being neglected or disliked by the world. This feeling started around the same time that I discovered PMO in my life. And so uh, I think that's a significant thing because I discovered PMO when I was around 10 years old and was instantly addicted and consistently abusing it for the next 15 years or 14 years of my life. And during this time, uh, you know, not always, um, I was actually uh, fairly popular in high school, but, uh, you know, especially in middle school, you know, when I was just a tubby little Indian boy in a primarily white community, and especially when I was in, um, you know, Los Angeles, uh, amidst these uh, posh circles, the, there definitely was a feeling of just not belonging, not being liked, being mistreated, being neglected, you know, being patronized. And I harbored a lot of just resentment and anger as a result of this. And maybe some of you feel the same way or have experience with that same feeling of just people just don't like me or I just don't belong like I really would like to. How can we respond to that feeling? Well, guys, I have three ideas that I think are significant and that I'd like to share with you on this subject because um, for 15 years, I've had this feeling as a companion of just not being wanted. If you feel this way, if you feel that the world neglects you, step one, neglect the world right back. Maybe you can't do that on an emotional, like deep belief system level because it's hard to change your beliefs that fast, but do it on the surface level. On the surface level, just make a constant, uh, sorry, instant decision. Draw a line in the sand. I will no longer care anything about what people say about me, think about me, or don't think about me. I do not care at all. If the world neglects me, fine. I'm nobody. I neglect the world right back. Step two, fill that lack of attention, fill that void that you've created by your I don't give a fuck attitude, by becoming monomaniacally obsessed on just three objectives. Pick three things that you wanna achieve in the next six months and become monomaniacally focused on them. Write them down on a piece of paper and look at them every day, three times a day. Visualize them, them. When you're horny, when you're feeling no fap urges, channel those urges into the achievement of those three objectives. Like feel that heat towards your goals and take action on it every day. And in, alongside that, you know, continue to de develop these amazing personal development habits that you've started to incorporate in your life. Semen retention, a high vibration diet, early rising, consistent exercise, meditation, pranayama. Do all these things so, so that you are perfectly primed towards the achievement of your objectives. And work towards them every day. If you, if you are consistently thinking about your objectives and chasing them every day, while practicing semen retention especially, you will have all the penetrative power you need to push through the obstacles and get to your goals. I promise you, you do. For two years in Los Angeles, I couldn't get agents, managers, casting directors to look at me. And in just 
three and a half months of semen retention. I've harbored meetings, auditions. I've made money and spent that money, uh, invested it in my acting career, a career, and I've developed uh, strong plans towards further progress. So become monomaniacally obsessed with your goals and use your transmuted energy to work towards them. And step three, document. Every once in a while, post to social media about what you've been working on. Share it with the world. It's not necessarily ego-driven or weak to use social media, as some fabstronauts might say. I think it's a useful tool to build your brand. You should be documenting. If you guys have seen any marketing videos or social media marketing videos by the likes of Gary Vaynerchuk or Neil Patel, um, there is tremendous power in sharing what you've been working on. And that's it. Ignore the world that's been ignoring you or neglecting you and instead become monomaniacal towards your goals and towards your personal development. Work to towards those goals with the mentality of someone who is off his rocker. And then every once in a while, I mean every, once every two weeks, maybe once every month, document. Put something up. Share what you've been working on. Maybe if you're hustling properly hard, you might be have been featured in a newspaper. Um, the play that I did just a month ago was featured across all the ma ma major printing services in Minnesota. And I put those up and I shared uh, about those. And the way that the world responded to me changed so much compared to what I had been experiencing when I was younger. So your efforts will yield um, opportunities for documentation and sharing. Do that. And here's my promise to you. You will start hitting your objectives and then you'll hit the next one and the next one and the next one. And that same world that neglected you that neglect will turn into fascination. That neglect will turn into magnetized appeal. That neglect will turn into deep attraction by everyone. Suddenly you're gonna become the guy who everyone wishes they knew. This is no bold claim, it's just the truth. You, you do sexual transmutation, and instead of thinking about what people think about you, you become monomaniacal towards your goals, and you start achieving them pretty soon. It won't take long before people will say, yeah, I was at a party with Nikhil Pandey. He talked to me once. Guys, I know that was sounded a little ego-driven to say that, but I, fill in your own name. And when you're chasing those objectives, Pick goals that are only about 30% of an increase from where you're at right now. So I have one financial goal. I'm making a certain amount of money and I want to make just 30% more in six months while being a fully remote worker. My other goal is to sign with a top 15 talent agency. And my last one is to meet a spiritually minded girl. I'm gonna leave the video at that. If the world ignores you, Develop yourself, practice retention of the seminal vital fluid, transmute it upwards, become obsessed with your goals, chase them, work towards them, and document your journey. And the same world that neglected you will salute you, just as I do. I salute everyone on this journey, and greatness is coming to all of us. Till then, guys, stay strong. Cheers.